I'm Keith Shea, General Manager, Paranoia Haunted House. Hi, I'm Chris Black, Makeup Manager and Actor at Paranoia Haunted House. So my first question for you is, what inspired you to open this haunted house? Well, the inspiration behind the haunted house is the owner, Dave Lycom, is really into horror. He loves just scaring people. Uh, he got into it, he was an actor at a haunted house long before he started the haunted house, and he decided he wanted to open his own, and since then we have grown to where we are now. I mean, it's just the love of the horror. And that's how I would put it. Anything you want to add to that? That's probably a you know, oversimplification, but I think it's perfect for it. You know, it's just that love of Halloween and scaring people. How long have you guys been in business? Paranoid Haunted House has been in business for 11 years now, and we have been at this location going on eight. How many people does it take to set up? Set up as in, you mean set up for the build out or set up to open for the production of a show? To open for the production of a show. Okay, so I'll go into both details. So we have a build out crew, which is mainly the owner. Uh, myself and Chris help with build out during the off season. We work year round to build the rooms and come up with the ideas that we're going to do for the show. Uh, once the show is ready to run, it takes about 10 to 15 of us just to prep and get ready to open the show take, with yeah. makeup artists, uh, costume designers, Managers, management. Making sure that everybody is in for the night, uh, figuring out what spots will have to be you know, recast or what sections you can go without for the night if people are missing. So does the inside change each season? So each season we try to go in and change a portion of each show. Uh, we don't want the show to be the same year round. We basically want you to come in and be like, oh, wow, this is totally different. That's, that's the look we're going for. It's probably one of those, two where uh, certain effects and certain gags we'll keep for a couple of years, but then after a while it's like, all right, it's time to freshen some scenes up, figure out what's going to go, what can we tweak, and make minor adjustments to. How many actors are there, roughly? Ooh, I would say between, because we do two shows here, so I would say on a given night we're somewhere between maybe, what, 85? or so, including like outside performers and inside. So. Yeah, we try to keep it at a good, a good number. We want to make sure everybody's entertained. How many people do you expect to come through the haunted house each season? Projected or we would like? <laughs> Both. <laughs> but projected this year, I would say we're on track to do, hopefully, we're hoping to do at least 20,000 plus. Um, our goal would be love to have 30,000. I mean, the more the merrier. So what's like your favorite scene or like thing that you've done in the haunted house? Hmm. I'll let you lead on. Uh, a favorite scene for me, honestly, would probably be this new queue line section that we're in right now. Uh, just because before it was you know, just your standard back and forth pattern, but now we've added like its own atmosphere inside. So it just helps, again, build that intensity, build that anticipation of what's going to be behind the door when the show like really kicks off. So I'd probably say this queue line is one of the top things for me. How long does it take to get everyone into makeup and costumes? Uh, to get everyone made up and in costume, it's usually about almost a three hour process. Three hours, yeah. Wow. Yeah. We try to get people to show up about five o'clock. Makeup team comes in at like 4.30, 4 o'clock, make sure everything is functioning and clean. Uh, so yeah, it's about three hours because we have different levels of makeup. Some people are getting full masks, some folks are just airbrushed. We do a little bit of prosthetic work. So yeah, about three hours. So do you guys work here like all year round or do you have any other jobs outside of this establishment? Uh, we are here year round. We both do have regular jobs as well. Uh, we do, you know, I do costuming and things like that. I also freelance at other locations doing scenic work and things like that. But being here, getting the show designed, built, it is a year-round process. It's a second job that's full-time year-round. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it, a lot of time goes into building the sets and coming up with the ideas. And so, we all love what we do. So, we have free time, and this is what we come to. How long have you been doing makeup and costuming? I would say I've been doing makeup and costuming for about 17 years, actually. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I started out as an actor, just like, you know, in a random room somewhere. I uh, was always passionate about it, loved horror movies and things like that, and then slowly just started messing with different techniques, and, you know, it built from there. 
What is the worst thing that like a customer has done inside the haunted house, like coming through? Huh. I would probably That's say, uh, usually we get a lot of like sick customers, but we had one person that there were maybe like four different rooms. They would go through, actors jumps out, startle, puke. Moved on to another room, startle, puke. So there were like four rooms that we, <laughs> yeah, so we, had, to, we had to stop the show, do a deep clean on that. Oh, so no. That was probably like one of the craziest stories that we saw. Needless to say, they had a good time, though. Yeah. So. Is there anything you have to do to like keep the employees safe from like people who are like punchers or something? Or yeah, we we train them on that. Oh yeah, uh, we do an extensive actor training course. We try to teach people to look for certain you know body movements, mannerisms that are going to you know, give away those telltale signs. That sometimes they're guests and customers coming through that have some ill intent. So we try to train them on some things. Switch up. We we always tell them to lead with their hand, so that way if you pop out. Someone hits you, they're gonna hit your hand first, and you're not just oh, lead with your face, <laughs> opening your face to a straight, you know, left hook or something like that. So that's really cool. Um, so how long does is a season? Like, how long do you guys run the haunted house? This each year? year we're operating 19 regular days in the month of October. We that's our October show. Uh, now we do a Christmas show that's one to two nights in the month of December. We also do a summer show that's one night only. So we try to open up more than just the Halloween season, but our Halloween season is only running 19 nights this year. Okay. What is your favorite part about Halloween? Favorite part of Halloween? Uh, honestly, it's dressing up and... <laughs> I think know. seeing people in costumes and having a good time, being somebody they, they're not normally they get. I'm not normally this person, but guess what? I get to be this person tonight. So it... it it's pretty cool to you see You get a pretty that. nice little escape for 19 nights. Yeah. What's your favorite horror film? Mm. <laughs> favorite horror film? I would probably have to say George Romero's Day of the Dead. It's hard for me because I like a bunch of different ones. Uh, I'd probably say uh, the Halloween series is pretty good to me. I like that one, but... It, it's tough because I watch so many different ones. I don't just focus on one kind. I like I like to I mainly watch them to come up with things I can put in this haunted house. <laughs> I mean, what's different out there? What's people doing? What? How can I create rooms that will scare people? So, do you prefer like the gory, like slasher kind of stuff, or do you prefer more like psychological? Honestly, I like a mix of those. You know, I, I do love some stuff that's going to be in your face, gross, make you a little uncomfortable. But at the same time, having those ones where it's just like the anticipation of the scare, you know, really get in your head before you even come around the corner. So it's, it's good to try to blend those two. So what does an average work day look like for you guys? Uh, let's see. About 4, 4.30 we get. Here. If you're lucky, sometimes, yeah. you know, it's a 9 o'clock day of repairs, getting things sure pressed, things, you know? <laughs> making sure stuff is fixed, ready to go, um, and then you try to find 15, 20 minutes to get a little rest in there before the madness begins all over again. So. And our nights don't usually end when the ticket booth closes. We close at midnight, and there's nights we're here to 2, 2.30 in the morning, getting wow. everything finished, closing up shop, making sure everything's locked up. So it can be long days. I mean, anywhere from, what, 12 hours to... 16 hours, I mean, pretty much. It's just the norm. Rinse and repeat. Yep. <laughs> Come back and do it the next day. That's cool. So, um, has anyone, like, ever, I mean, I'm sure there has, but anyone scared, like, the employees? Yes. And make it my mission to try and do it. Um, I, I like to go through uh, every so often just to keep them on their toes. So, I'll actually be in costume, don't go with a group of people, and just mess with them in their little hidey holes and stuff like that. It wakes them up and also it's a cool little thing too that just kind of, you know, ah, they kind of decompress and it shows that, hey, we do the same stuff that you're doing, so. That's cool. How much are your tickets? Currently our ticket prices are $25 for a single house, which is the void, which is the room we're standing in. This is the entrance to the void. Um, that's our big attraction. Uh, we do a combo ticket of $35, which includes the void and our secondary attraction, the suffering. Um, both houses combined, you're looking at about a 15 to 20 minute walk to the big side, about a 10 to 15 minute walk to the small side. So you're looking at a good 35, 40 minutes total. 
Do you have any way, like, I can go see, like, your makeup work or, like... Uh, absolutely. We have a full makeup area that um, has tons of things. We are constantly posting photos on our Paranoia page. Uh, we try to update every weekend just showing the crazy monsters that are out there. We show people out in the Midway area with the guests and stuff like that. So we try to keep all those little teasers out there so folks are excited and want to come out and see the show. Okay, so what is the weirdest thing that's happened here? Hmm. Just trying to really throw us off. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I have an answer for that What's one that outside one? of the puking part because it, hmm, I don't know. We still have a couple of nights to go, so I'm not sure. I don't think we'll probably we'll get weird towards the end. I mean, but we really haven't had any weird stuff happen this year. I mean, honestly, it's been a pretty solid season. It's been decent. That's good. And so I guess if there's anything else that you guys would like to say. If you're looking for a good time, come on out to Paranoia. We'll show you a good time. Come hang out with us and enjoy your weekends. That's right. Weekends in October. Paranoia.